highlighting the need for the UK Home Office to review its own asylum principles in light of this evidence. Finally, we all know that harmony and peace will remain elusive in Sri Lanka until land uh, in the Tamil majority north and east of the country is demilitarised. A stag staggering less than 4% of Tamil lands captured by... And as Hillary was pointing out, this is the seventh anniversary of the end of the conflict. Or is it the end of the conflict? That's my question. Because... It's not the end of the conflict. Precisely. It's going to be the end of the war. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you have to then go into the question of the human rights abuses, go into the question of those camps that were set up, go into the question of the missing people, go into the question of the lack of access to journalists and independent observers, and the obfuscation over the UN human rights reporters being able to go there about the issue being properly taken up at the UN. So, those issues have to be dealt with. We will continue to demand those issues are dealt with, because unless you actually solve the issue about the rights of people for their cultural identity, their language, their life, their freedom, their ability to organise themselves as a community, then the war is not over, the conflict is not over, the situation will only rear its head again. Thousands have died during that war. Thousands have lost their lives and families have suffered as a result of it. So, do we now just say it's all over or not? No, we don't. Hillary is making the point about trade treaties. I am very interested in trade treaties for lots of reasons. One of which is that unless we stand up for human rights everywhere in the world, where it's difficult as well as where it's easy to do, then your cause of human rights is damaged unless you stand up for all human rights wherever human rights abuses occur in the rich countries as well as the poor countries, the powerful as well as the weak. You have to be uniform about it. And so when it comes to trade treaties, I think trade treaties should and must include a very clear definition of what human rights and human rights abuses are. And if the trade partner is abusing human rights, randomly imprisoning people, preventing journalists reporting what's going on, using methods of compulsion to gain evidence from people, otherwise known as torture, and many other abuses of human rights, then quite simply, we should not be treating them as a normal equal trading partner. We should put all the demands and pressure we would for anybody else where there is abuse of human rights going on. So we as a party are very committed to the issues of human rights and justice. We're very committed to the rights of peoples, the Tamil people <coughs> in this case, to achieve their justice, their self-expression and their self-determination. That is what we're about as a party. <laughs> and, and so I want to say thank you to all of the people that are here tonight and many others who probably couldn't get along tonight for the way in which the community has stood together and worked together when it's been very difficult. When we had the um, camp in Parliament Square, during the time there were people taking hunger strike out there to draw attention to the situation in Sri Lanka, 200,000 people marched through the streets of London. I was one of those and joined that march. I was one of very few people who were not part of the Tamil community who joined that march. And I remember to this day, and I'm still angry about it, the utter silence of the majority of the British and world's media to the demonstration as well as to the cause and well as, the, as well as the issue. But technology opens up opportunities. Your own television channel, own social media system, own contacts, makes it possible for people to get that word out there. The meeting tonight draws attention to the abuse of human rights, draws attention to the demands that uh, you are quite rightly making, and we are here to give our support too. And I'm very grateful that Tamils for Labour exists, that is there to put that pressure within the party, has changed government policy in the past, has changed party policy, and will go on ensuring that we as a party remain committed to the needs and justice for the Tamil people. Thank you very much for inviting me tonight. Thank you, Siobhan.